Yo, so I, I, I'm going to just start off by saying I, I apologize right off the bat if I say a bunch of nonsense right now because your boy's head is just going a million miles an hour. I mean, what the hell was that that we just witnessed? See, this is exactly what happens when you have the two best guys in the world fight each other in their prime as opposed to waiting when both of them are older, both of them are all beaten up and they've gone years and years into their career and they're washed up or whatever before you finally give us the fight we want. This is what happens when you have number one pound for pound, genuinely number one pound for pound. I don't want to hear any argument that Volkanovski is not. He is. You have number one pound for pound fight number two pound for pound both guys in their actual prime at the tip top zenith pinnacle of their careers this is what we get a beautiful performance a fight where both guys came in as prepared as they possibly could be prepared of course going into this fight the story was Alexander Volkanovsky is the better striker. He's got very good grappling, but there's no secret whatsoever that what he wants to do is keep the fight on the feet. And for Islam Makhachev, there is no doubt Islam has good striking. His striking is definitely better than his cousin, Habib. But there is also no secret that what Islam really wants to do is he wants to drag your ass to the ground. He wants to pin you in a dominant position. He wants to pound your face in or find a, an opportunity to get a submission. No surprise that's what both guys want to do. And so, of course, the, the, the question is, are they going to be able to nullify each other? Who's going to be able to nullify the other more, right? And in this fight... They both literally proved that they are so much better in each other's domain than we all thought, right? For a lot of people, the, the narrative was if, Ale if Alexander Volkanovsky gets taken down by Islam Makhachev, there's very little chance he's going to get up. If he takes him down, he might pin him. He's going to just be held down the whole entire round. It's going to be a boring fight, blah, 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 blah. That is not what happened. That is not what happened whatsoever. Islam was able to take him down, I believe, four times out of nine takedown attempts the whole entire fight. That's nine attempts four times. And uh, he was able to, in one of the rounds, I believe it was round number four. Yeah, round number four, he was able to get him down, um, took his back, locked the body triangle, and kept him with the body triangle locked in the whole entire time. Now, Volkanovski was doing a very good job to try to escape that body triangle. A lot of times when someone has your back, it becomes a fight for the mat, as, as you say. Um, if you're able to get your back to the mat, you're going to be able to face the ceiling. And when you can face the ceiling, you can start escaping. Even if they have a body triangle, a lot of times the first step is, of course, as you're fighting the arm because they're trying to choke you out. First step is try to get the back to the mat, which is why in a position like that, it becomes a battle for the mat. Because the guy on your back, he's trying to use himself as your pillow. He wants you on top of him so you don't have access to the mat. And so for a vast majority of that fight, uh, of that round and round number four, that's what the fight was. It was a fight for the mat, and Islam was doing a very good job of winning that. Of course, he was also close to the cage, which made things a bit more difficult for Alexander Volkanovsky. But man, these two guys showed an incredible amount of display of skill. On the feet, Islam's patience, man, his striking... His striking is sophisticated, bro. It is a sophisticated striking. Of course, it is very left-hand heavy as a southpaw. A lot of southpaws are very left-hand left hand heavy. They, they throw their cross um, over and over again. But his pinpoint accuracy, his ability to time the leg kicks from Volkanovski and fire off a, a cross down the pipe, multiple times he was able to knock Volkanovski out of position. Not only that, one thing he was doing a very good job of is, of course, when you're facing uh, a shorter man, your knees really, really come into play, right? If you're facing a shorter man, and you know, they dip, dip to try to enter the pocket. Volk um, Islam was doing a very good job of firing knees, and he caught Volkanovski with a lot of clean knees to the body, some knees to the head. He would grab Muay Thai plum, land knees. Um, man, just overall, they, they both displayed a level of fighting that, We've not seen from either of them. And the reason why they were able to do that is because they were able to push each other. I mean, think back. Of course, you know, we, we can't say 
we can't say that Volkanovski is Islam's toughest match because somebody has knocked Islam out before, right? Um, I forget his name, Mo- Moises or something like that. He put Islam out cold. He knocked him out cold. So we can't say that Alexander Volkanovsky is Islam's toughest match. Islam has a loss, a knockout loss on his career. But in terms of somebody who took um, Islam five rounds, was able to stop his grappling multiple times, get back up to the feet, stopped him from dominating him on the ground, actually was able to outgrind Islam. Because like these guys, man, the Habib, the Islam, a lot of these guys, their game plan is always the same. They want to get you tired. They want to put a ridiculous pace, grappling pace on you, get you tired, get you wilted, get you winded, and take you out. They always come in, all these AKA guys, whether it's DC, Habib, Islam, that's the game plan. Embrace the grind. They, they, they want to put that ridiculous grinding wrestling pace on you. And to see Islam Makhachev in round number five, tired, clearly gassed out, more tired than Volkanovski, on his freaking back, bro, in close guard, getting pounded by Volkanovski. Oh my God, bro, what a sight. What a sight, bro. I am so freaking excited. As a fan of MMA, as a fan of the UFC, I am so grateful to the UFC for them putting this, 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 this fight together when they put it together, you know? Usually it's like it's years before we see a fight like this. Two guys in their prime? Are you kidding me? Two guys in their prime. Pound for pound, number one, and number two, duking it out in their prime. We never see this. So this is just, this is a monumental fight. And win, lose, or, or draw, for me personally, I still look at Alexander Volkanovsky as number one pound for pound. Am I the only one? Am I the only one that still thinks the man is number one pound for pound? Because like, hey, let's just be let's just be honest right here, right? If we if you take a look at what the pound for pound uh, term really means, like, would this fight have gone this way if like if Volkanovski was five ten? Maybe, maybe not, right? Like if we're being honest, if we're being genuinely honest, like even though. There wasn't a significant strength difference. The size does play a role in there, right? It does. And, it, you know, in a lot of ways, it, it, it also should not be an excuse because Alexander Volkanovsky is used to fighting men who are taller than him. I mean, he beat, he beat the shit out of Max Holloway multiple times, and Max Holloway is 5'11". So, like, the height wasn't that big of a deal for a man like Volkanovsky. He's very used to it. But... His performance, the way he fought that, f- that round five, the way he ended the fight in a dominant fashion, I don't think this should affect his rankings at all. I don't think, I don't think he should drop down to number two pound for pound. I don't think Islam should take his spot. I-, I genuinely think he should remain exactly where he is because he moved up in weight and he did something spectacular today, man. He really did. I think he shocked a lot of people. He really did, man. You know, a lot of people counted him out in this fight. A lot of people thought it was going to be a complete wash. He's too small. He's too weak. Islam's too big. He's too skilled. The grappling difference is going to be too much. But man, man, he, he, I mean, they both just raised the bar with this one. They really did. And they made each other better. They absolutely made each other better. I pity anybody. I mean, oh my God. Yeah, yeah, Rodriguez just, just won. He just defeated Josh Emmett, and now he's about to fight Alexander Volkanovsky. <laughs> oh my God, now he's about to fight Alexander Volkanovsky. Are you kidding me? Yeah, yeah, Rodriguez, bro. I'm sorry, man, but um, you, you, you see what just happened right now, bro? You see what just happened? Volkanovsky versus Islam. I, I'm, I'm not too, uh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not liking your chances in this one, bro. Hey, hey you know, that was a beautiful performance by a year it was an incredible performance he did something incredible with that with that with that triangle against josh emmett but um i just don't think he's going to be able to get past volkanovsky volkanovsky has absolutely leveled up dude he has leveled up with this one didn't i tell you guys i was gonna ramble oh my god jeez man what a fight what a fight I'm going to be thinking about this one for a very, very long time. 
it almost slipped away from Islam. It almost slipped away. Afterwards, he was like, dude, I got to get better. I got to get better. I know. I know what he was saying. He was like, dude, oh, yeesh. That was close. That, that was that one. That one almost slipped right out of, right out of his fingers, man. Damn. Crazy. Anyways, um, 10 minutes. I've been recording for 10 minutes. Let me know in the comment section what you guys thought about it. Um, my apologies if I said anything stupid right now. I'm I'm your boy's brain is just flying a million miles an hour right now. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it at that. Thank you for watching. <laughs> leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Tell me what you thought about the fight, and um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Have a good night.